What's up you guys? What's really, really good? Welcome back to my Chanel. My name is Stacey as a black guy. If you've never been here before, but if you have, hi girl. Oh my gosh, my straighter is dying. I'm going through my hair so that I can kind of not have it look a hot mess. Before we continue though, I do have to let you guys know that this Friday, July 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Apodaca Jewel is dropping for Patreon. All you have to do is click the first link down below to get access early for Apodaca Jewel and also to get a 15% off coupon code that is only available to Patreon. We are also going to be dropping on Sunday, July 3rd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to the regular public and all you have to do is go to apodacajewel.com and you can also follow us on Instagram for more more details because we will be sharing all the details there I'm actually just going through my hair uh, to kind of like strain it because look I always get like a bunch of little flyaways like this why is that why like these are all little like baby hairs I don't even know if you could see them but it's like girl I don't even lose hair that much like why I mean it's good that I'm having new hair coming in but I'm just like I don't understand. Today, we're gonna be having a two-day vlog because uh, esta semana se me contó that I'm having a couple of things done. <laughs> I, it sounds like I'm having plastic surgery. I'm really not. So let me tell you. Today, I'm gonna go get my nails done because it's been like a little bit over two weeks. And tomorrow, I'm actually getting micro needling. And I'm so excited because I've gotten it a couple of times, but I don't really ever vlog it. So this time I'm gonna vlog it for you guys to show you kind of what my skin looks like and stuff. But today is the nails part. And along with that, we're gonna be hanging out because I love hanging out with you. I have to wait for my strainer to charge because, oh my God, my strainer needs to charge. So anyway, uh, this outfit is from Zara. I always kind of wear the same things. I just mix and match them. So this is a bodysuit. I have it in a bunch of different colors. It's still available at Zara if you guys want to go get it. I'll try to link it for you guys. I'll try to find it. And this short skirt is also from Zara, which I love. So it's bien bonita. And then you already know my jewelry girl, my Apple Watch band, my Rich Mom bracelet, my Vienna necklace, that's what we ended up naming her, are all from a black of jewels. This is what my nails look like before. Look at how much growth there is on there. As soon as I start to see like a little bit of like my natural nail coming in, I'm always like, oh my God, I need to get my nails done already. Now these nails I've had on since before my wedding. So my wedding was on May 4th and it's gonna be two months that I've been getting refills, refills, fills on these nails. So this is probably gonna be the last fill I do before I take them off and I start a new set because I kind of don't like when the natural nail starts growing at the bottom. Like se me hace que no se ve muy bonito que digamos. So this is probably gonna be the last fill that I get, look. I don't know if you could see, but you could definitely see my natural nails like coming out. To kind of change things up a little bit, I think I'm gonna change the shape of the nails. Right now I have them um, almond shape and that's how I've had them ever since I got them. So I really been into the short square nails right now. Uh, Wendy actually posted hers and I was like, oh my God, her nails look so good. So we might change the shape to short square. The only thing that makes me a little bit nervous, um, obviously I'm going to a nail shop, the same nail shop I've been going to. Uh, it's the fact that sometimes at nail shops, they don't do an amazing job with shape. And I've never been to this nail shop like that before, so maybe they'll do an amazing job. This makes me nervous because with short square nails, if you don't get them really thin, I feel like sometimes they look too chunky to the point where you're like, oh, it looks like, I don't know, it just it doesn't look cute. This is the bag that I'm wearing today, and we're actually gonna be taking all the sunglasses from Apoleca Joe because I need to take pictures for them. These are the Audrey ones in sage color. I don't know what to do with my nails, honestly. I feel like lately when I've been going to the nail shop, I have like a color that I'm like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. But today I really didn't, so we're gonna go in and kind of like freestyle it up. This is the outfit, super cute, chic, just like 
running errands vibes. We just got to the location of the shoe. <laughs> the shoe being me taking selfies. So I wanted to show you guys the different glasses that I'm gonna be wearing to take these selfies. Audrey sunglasses. And you guys, this is like the fun part of having your own business because you get to like have fun photo shoots like this. We got it, you have a loud car, we get it. These are it girl sunglasses. I love these. These look so sophisticated to me, like I'm obsessed. We have the it girl sunglasses and leopard nude combo. How cute do these look? Like genuinely you could just even wear them like with any outfit. I feel like leopard sunglasses are like this kind of, um, como se dice, like this kind of pattern you could wear with anything. Like it doesn't matter what color they are. They're in the color pink. These don't have a name yet. Who is calling me? Oh, scam likely. We're not answering that. Anyway, these are so cute. So, 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 so cute. What should I name these? I don't know what I should name them. Let me know down below and then we'll name them. Basically, when I'm going to take selfies, I try to do it in my car because it looks like I'm out. Like I always feel weird taking sunglass pictures inside my house because it's like, girl, we know you're at your house. Like, what are you doing at your house taking pictures? <laughs> Why are you wearing sunglasses inside? And then I just take them on selfie mode here on my phone. Look, that's it. Oh wait, that's not selfie mode. So I take it on selfie mode and then I always press this little button to like make it wider. We're gonna take selfies. I'm gonna put some music for you so you don't get bored. god i think i'm gonna end up wearing these ones i kind of love 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 which ones are your favorite let me know which ones your favorite are for me i really love these because they're pink you know but these are like the moment right now like i just wasn't even gonna wear these but i'm like maybe i'll just keep these on now it's time to wet our nails dad we're gonna walk in simple fail what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut them short and i'm gonna do square but i'm also gonna ask them to thin them out because look can you see how chunky they are and i feel like when they look chunky like you could just tell like they're not well done you know Ooh, hopefully i like them otherwise i'm just gonna keep them on for the next two weeks hi can i please have a large matcha ice blend with almond milk it's gonna come out to 6 30. thank you hopefully when we get to the nail shop it's not too busy and they could take me right away but usually like al mediodía no hay mucha gente so hopefully so i wanted to stop by and get my little matcha ice blend it's gonna be my little treat for the day when i go get my nails done i kind of like to make it like an experience you know like a relaxing experience especially with this new place that i found like i genuinely love just like going showing them a picture and being like do your thing you know my straigo my airpods oh here Ooh. I have my AirPods. I can listen to music, to a podcast, to anything that I want. And then I could just like, you know, chill out for the day. Like have a little, I was going to say mommy and me. Have a little me time, if you will. I have to put all my sunglasses away because I literally have them all right here in the front seat. But okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with my nails. We're just going to walk in there right now and hope for the best. I think I'm going to go with these because these are pink and I have pink on right now. Let's go get my nails done, girlies. Here they are once again. I feel like I've shown them to you a hundred times. Also, here's my drink. I ended up going through... Okay, so I got this straw a Coffee Bean, which is their natural straw, the regular one. But it, it had like a cut in it. And you know when your straws have a cut and then you can even like have the drink go in because it's like all air? So I had to stop at Starbucks and get another straw but with that being said everything fits in this bag by the way <laughs> i have like everything in here let's go get our nails done i'm gonna show you guys what they end up looking like here's before outgrown not cute and and here's the after 
I ended up going with the baby blue. I said on Instagram, I was like, what color do you guys think I should do? And it was between sagey green and this baby blue. And the majority voted sagey green. And I know you guys always get mad at me when I don't do what you tell me to do. But I was like, I literally just got sagey green not that long ago. So I haven't done baby blue in a really long time. And it's giving gender reveal right now. But it's cute i was like oh my god i haven't done baby blue in a long time also i didn't end up going with the square nails because i was afraid you guys like i feel like with short square nails it's really easy to make them look not cute so i was like i'm just gonna stick to what's already there the shape is not that bad um i didn't have her cut any length this time so you know they are a little bit longer than what i'm used to but they're cute and they're gonna give for about two weeks and then we'll see if i take them off or not like the bottom is pretty ugly but it doesn't look that bad if you don't look i don't know good morning everybody welcome back to day two of this vlog today we're gonna be doing my carnitaline and if you don't know my carnitaline is basically this thing where they like te raspa la piel de la cara so you can create new cells and you can have nicer skin basically so like if you have open pores like look i'm gonna show you i have open pores open pores like this or if you have like blackheads and things like that which i don't really have a lot of blackheads right now i do have some acne if you have open pores and acne scars this procedure is basically the best thing you can do for your skin because it basically forces your skin to create new collagen and therefore giving you a fresher looking look looking look is that a thing i don't know i haven't always had the easiest time with my skin especially like i've suffered from like adult acne and i cannot help but pick up my face like i genuinely wish i was better and i wish i could just not pick up my face but i'm not like i generally pick up my face it's you know and if i see a blackhead like i have to get it so that's what creates a lot of scars for me one of my main inspirations for having like beautiful looking skin is actually which is gonna sound really weird but you guys know belinda you know belinda the one we grew up watching like all of us i have no idea how this girl literally still looks 17 like she is older than i am she's well into her 30s and she still looks 17 and i'm like what is it that makes her look so youthful and i genuinely think it's the fact that her skin looks amazing and she literally has like perfect complexion now that's obviously what we get to see online because we don't get to see her without filters we don't get to see her without makeup we don't get to see her like real raw and like this if you will or maybe we do and i just haven't seen it she genuinely has perfect skin not that i want to look 17 like that is not the goal I just want to be forever young. I don't want to look 17, but I want to. I always want to look good for my age. I feel like I've done a pretty good job at doing so so far. Um, and of course, I'm not saying that I look younger than I am because anytime somebody says that, like on TikTok, for example, somebody will get on TikTok and be like, "I look like I'm 23," and people will literally be like, "No, there is a 40 way, no mames," and I'm like, "Oh my god!" So I am not saying I look younger than I am. I feel like I look my age, and I look like a good representation of my age. Continuing to do so will have greater benefits in the future, you know. And of course, there's some years. I don't think aging happens gradually. I think some years you literally age nothing because that year was very stress-free. And some other years you literally age a lot. We'll talk more about my carnealing in a little bit. I'm making my coffee for the day. So I wanted to show you how I make it. It's nothing special, but a couple of people asked me, so I wanted to show you. Recently, I've been using the single shot pots from Nespresso because I ran, out my I ran out of my double shots. The one I used today is called Ofario. This is the name of it if you guys want to get it. The first thing I do is I make my hot coffee or my hot espresso shot in a separate glass cup. I try not to use plastic because if you use plastic, then all those plastic toxins will go into your coffee. So then the first thing I do is I put ice in a separate cup of of in a separate cup of glass in a separate glass cup why can i not speak i don't know and then i get the almond milk this is the organic original one i get this one from costco that's the only one they sell that's why i get it and then i just fill up anyway this is also not my favorite creamer i told you guys i didn't love this one but i ran out of my um, caramel creamer so i'm gonna be using this one this is a non-dairy oat creamer with brown sugar from trader joe's 
it's not the best. So don't go out there buying it and be like, oh, Stacy, this was not good. The last thing I do is I just grab my shot and then I pour it in. Ta-da. This ends up being like, is this a macchiato? I literally just grab a straw. Look at how nice that looks. That literally looks like Starbucks. <laughs> I literally grab a straw and I just swirl, swirl, swirl. And I basically do this every time before my workout. So I'm not 25, so we're gonna do a little quick um, treadmill workout while I edit some video and stuff. This is gonna be the same outfit you're gonna see me in all day. So I'm wearing this set. This set's from Amazon. I'll link it for you guys down below. I'm wearing some Nike shoes from the outlet. You guys already know I get all my workout shoes from the outlet. And the purse that I'm wearing today is this, I feel like a jewel bag that I was wearing yesterday. And I don't know what glasses I'm wearing today. I might wear these ones, but it's like, is this too much pink? Am I overdoing it with the pink? Can you ever overdo it with the pink? I don't know, we'll decide when we're in the car. But, okay, so for now, let's go get a workout in. Let me try my coffee so you could see that I love. Mmm. <sighs> this actually ended up coming out really good today. Am I turning to the oat brown sugar creamer? I might be, but this is it. So let's go get our workout in. I don't know how much I'm gonna walk today. Mm. But I did wanna work out today because when you do microneedling, you cannot work out. You can work out the day you get it and you can work out for the next two days. So I'm gonna get my workout in today because I'm not gonna be able to walk for the next two days. Even though sometimes I push it and I'm like, oh, who cares, I'll just do it, you know? But I'm trying to be good about following instructions so that I can get the best results. finished it's 10 44 and i have to eat breakfast before we go to my appointment because otherwise i would be too hungry don't tell me i did 58 minutes i almost did the hour oh my god cuando no lo puedo cerrar así completamente let's see what my apple watch says because the apple watch is always different look it was 15 seconds away from the hour i'm just gonna let it run but okay here it says we did Oh, no, Siri, we're not talking to you. We did four miles, 4.3 miles, um, almost the hour. Okay, there you go, the hour, and I burned a total of 487 calories. So we're gonna go ahead and end that. We just got to my facial appointment. I want to show you guys my before. There it is. I'm gonna be red for about two, three days. But the reason why I love coming to this specific facialist, which her name's Hilda, is because she doesn't leave my face red for like a week. So if you guys remember the first time I ever got microneedling and I vlogged about it, if you haven't watched it, it's like in my video somewhere. They went so deep in my skin that literally my skin was red for like a week after and it was peeling hilda says that you don't have to do that like it doesn't have to be that deep so i'm gonna take you guys in there i'm gonna vlog in there i'm gonna tell her that i'm gonna vlog and i want to show you guys the whole experience about three hours 
since my facial so it doesn't look that red anymore which is something i love about hilda like it already starts looking not red i have to wash my face tonight and stuff but the pain is minimal if you're wondering what she did to my booby scar i don't even know if i'm allowed to put that on the internet but i'm gonna put it up um basically i have a keloid scar under my boob and that's just how my boobs have scarred i've had it for a long time she did is she put the same machine that she put on my face on the keloid scar and she says that i should start seeing it deflate within the next 30 days I 30 days i'm gonna keep updating you guys um right now i have to go run some errands i have to go pick up some stuff for my mom and then i'm actually gonna go visit my dad take him some cigarettes in order to go outside i literally have to go outside with this hat on and anytime you get microneedling you basically have to hide from the sun and then i ended up naming these sunglasses glamour sunglasses so we're gonna be wearing these this is my little outfit look this is me, very fashionable, going to run some errands. El glamour nunca se pierde, okay? Let's go run some errands and hide from the sun. It's really hot out there today, so yes, we're gonna go see my dad and take him the cigarettes, take my mom her stuff that she needs, y continuamos. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is now 7.13. I ended up going to my sister's house to hang out with my parents. And I am looking crusty, girl. My face is starting to feel tight, which is normal. You have to keep very hydrated. So my face is starting to feel tight. I asked Hilda if I can wash my face tonight because normally like I don't know I didn't remember if you could or not and she said yes now the one thing I will tell you guys is hyaluronic acid when your face is dehydrated is your best friend so we came to Ulta because I actually ran out of my hyaluronic acid and we're gonna buy some of that and we're gonna see what other hydrating products we can use I'm looking like a clown you guys I'm literally looking like a clown but it is all in the name of amazing skin also I shared it on my Instagram story that I met that I got a microneedling session and some of you guys were asking like what it's about is it worth it look to me 10 out of 10 worth it because you don't see the results right away but you see the results over time there are some people that are amazingly blessed with good skin and literally you can't see a pore aka my husband danny doesn't have a single pore and i hope my kids get his skin and then there's people like me who had acne growing up who picked at their face and now deal with acne scars so i heard that famous people do microneedling so i decided to try microneedling now <laughs> so um let's go into ulta let's see what we find to hydrate the skin i feel like i'm calling hella attention with looking like this but i'm like what else can i do i look like a little clown and oh me da vergüenza pero es parte de la belleza la belleza cuesta amigas la belleza cuesta y a veces tenemos que hacer cosas that are extra first things first i got what i was going for which is the hyaluronic acid i use this one by the ordinary because it's literally like seven bucks and it works just as well as any other one and honestly it's the only one i know about i also bought this 100% cold pressed rose hip seed oil. I never tried this one before and I don't know that I'm gonna try it right now because right now like obviously I have an injury on my face. So I'm gonna try to keep everything as minimal as possible. But I just wanted to, I wanted to try it. I generally don't even know what it's for, but me llamo la atención because it said rose. No huele nada. So hopefully it's good. I'm definitely gonna look it up before I start using it. But I bought this one. This one's also like seven bucks. Next up, I got this Mario Badescu, Badescu, Mario Badescu um, facial spray. This was with aloe, co cucumber, and green tea because generally right now my face I just feel like it needs to be like moist, and I know, like I just feel like maybe I'll just might do this for today. So, oh my god, this one smells so amazing. Recently, I bought the perfume Perfect by Marc Jacobs, and it smells so, so, so delicious. And you know when you buy perfume and they give you samples? Okay, they gave me a sample for this one that's called Perfect Intense. They smell so good, you guys. I'm genuinely obsessed with these perfumes. It's super cute, the packaging. I've been using the Perfect one very, very often. 
And as soon as I saw this one at Ulta, I was like, oh my god, I need it. A little unboxing moment. Wow. How beautiful is she? Oh my goodness. I love. I'm going to go ahead and wet my face with water to try and just, you know, rinse it a little bit. Hilda did say that I could wash it. She said I could wash my face with a face wash that doesn't have any, like, acids in it. But I, all I have is CeraVe and I feel like they all have salicylic acid which is not good when you just got microneedling. So when you, when you wet your face after microneedling it does burn a little bit because you just have to think about the fact that you just got a cut on your face. Like that's generally what just happened. In reality I'm really not as red as I've been before. It does burn a little bit so like even right now just putting water on my face it burns. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Literally, I just, I'm going to put a little bit of it in my hand. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. And I'm just going to apply and I'm not going to be stingy with it. Because right now we need all the moisture that we can get. Oh my god, it burns so bad. La belleza cuesta, plebes. La belleza cuesta. I'm going to go in with my Kiehl's Avocado Eye Cream. This one is my favorite. I absolutely love it. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm moisturizing my eye area as well. Because if, did you guys know that the first signs of aging show up in the eye area? Isn't that crazy? And that's because we're so expressive with our eyes and because the skin around the eyes tends to be a little bit thinner than the rest of the face. Last but not least, into a super simple night skincare routine, I'm just gonna go in with my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, and this is a daily lightweight hydration formula uh, for healthy looking skin. So I am not gonna be, I'm gonna be very generous with it to make sure that my face is moisturized, because trust me when I tell you, when you get microneedling you need all the moisture all the moisture girls okay so what do you think this is literally what time is it son las nueve so it's nine hours after microneedling i feel like i genuinely don't look that red for how red i've seen other people look after microneedling and by friday i'm going to be able to wear makeup today's tuesday so that's three days of makeup free and then by friday i'm able to just be free and wear makeup. I definitely will share the results in the next vlog because I want to upload this vlog for you guys. Let me know any microneedling questions you have down below or if you're an esthetician, if you're an esthetician yourself and you want to share any knowledge that you want to share with us, definitely let us know down below. That's going to be it for me. Las quiero mucho, mucho, mucho. Que Dios las bendiga. Quédate mucho. Respeto más. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.